to gang bang. What's in this? What's up, dog? With the law, I had you suckers running like a marathon. Little G's trying to creep on the east with it. Talking about they gon' get my chain and they gon' leave with it. But they don't know. Once they get close, that's tic tac toe. Three little G's laid on the floor. Yeah, this happened yesterday. On the west, they spray. I heard the S. Jesus, Bob, how long you been there for, mate? Jesus Christ, get the f*** out! Get the f*** out! Sorry, you dirty bastard! Yeah, mate, I'm sorry. Get the f*** out! Sorry, Jimmy. Hello, fellow survivors. So, uh, we're back from our camping. And, uh, yeah, so today we're going to go down to one of the local uh, tribal practices and uh, source a very special product. To do this, we must first dress up smart because you know first impressions matter so uh, I thought it would be time to maybe discard my beloved t-shirt it's all right Jimmy mate <laughs> all right mate don't worry about it mate <laughs> goodbye my friend Kangaroo mate, Jimmy. We need kangaroo mate. I know, Bob. I know it's hard. I need kangaroo mate. I know, Bob. No, it's okay. Jimmy. It's okay. Uh, we can get the kangaroo mate. It's okay. In case you didn't know, us Aussies have a thirst for kangaroo blood. Can't get enough of the stuff, you know. So, Bob and I, we're gonna go out. Try and find some at the local tribal practices. Yes, Jimmy. Sounds like a plan. Sounds like a plan. Jimmy, mate, we found a kangaroo. I don't think that is a kangaroo, Bob. That's a wallaby. Wake me up! Wake me up inside! Wake up! Wake me up inside! Call my name and say- Well, that was bloody tiring. Here we are. At a tribal trading spot. This is what the locals here call a super market. I have no idea what this stands for, but we are here to see if we can get some of our kangaroo meat. I hope we can, Bob. Indeed, Jimmy. I hope we can, or we're going to be going hungry. Yes, yes. We've got kangaroo. Oh, yeah, kang kangaroo. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to Jimmy's cooking show with uh, me, Jimmy. Today we're going to be making some uh, spicy, uh, spicy ostrich meat. Yeah, boy. So, uh, right. So this is this is my own recipe. I'm just making it up as I go along. So you get the olive oil. Uh, we're going to make a nice marinade, right? So you get the olive oil, and uh, you need the, the ground black pepper. You need a fair amount, because, let's be honest, ostrich is bland as hell, so... Alright, then we're gonna go with the uh, Chinese five spice. Get a bit of that going on. Not too much, because we don't want it to be too Chinese. I think it's a bit old, it's not coming out. <laughs> it's, it's coming to the balls. <laughs> okay, we're gonna go with the oregano. Yeah, you're not going very well so far, mate. And shit, shut the f up. Go with the oregano. That's enough, Jimmy. Yeah, we're leave. just bulking it up, you know. Uh, occasion, I think this is a little bit old. I got this out the back of the cupboard. I think I don't want to risk it, to be honest. When you make the ostrich, you want to make sure that it has uh, a little bit of uh, tenderization. Children, no, 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 yeah. I think 
I ever did it, but. <laughs> We've been throwing this for so long, Jimmy. <laughs> Hello fellow survivors, today has been a very successful adventure on the island of Guernsey. Yeah. We successfully got ourselves some totally kangaroo meat, cooked it and ate it. It was delicious. Yeah, join us next time for some more Aussie banter. Prepare yourself for Aussie Survival Episode 3. All right, so we just went to Iceland to drive by some kangaroo meat, and we found ostrich, which is basically kangaroo. Yeah, it's basically the yeah, same basically thing, the right? Same thing. And then, so we take it to the we take it to the tills, right? And then um, we give them the the five. Well, it costs two fifty. We give them the fiver, and then the woman's like, "Oh no, no, we don't take those five pound notes. They're thirty paper five pound notes, right?" So we'll I, I pull out like two pound and the two pound. Uh, Two pound, coins, uh, yeah. two pound coins, and then I find like five p change, and then uh, she's like, "Oh no, you you can't do that. It's two pound fifty. The forty p makes so much difference." <laughs> Hi. <laughs> All right, ready. <laughs>